Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Bob here. Now, I know I haven't posted in a couple of months, but there's a reason for that. I'll explain that to you at the end of this video. Now, a few months ago, I posted a video on shutoff valves and what to do when you go to turn them and they start leaking from the packing gland. I'm going to link that video in the cards up above and also in the description below. What I failed to do in that video was feature a ball valve. Now, a ball valve has a packing gland as well, and that's what this video is about. So stick around. I'll be right back after the intro. All right, so quickly, let me just bring up this, this gate valve I have here. So a gate valve, and you'll see all about the gate valve and the globe valve in that video I told you to check out. So check out the cards up above, video description below. And in a gate valve or a globe valve, the packing is located right here in this packing nut, which is kind of on the outside of the valve. So from, from this portion here going toward my right uh, is the interior of the valve. The packing nut or the packing gland is actually on the outside. And this is where all the packing sits. And real quickly, let me take the handle off here. Get this off. And there's the packing nut. And the packing would go inside this packing nut and you can use either Teflon or graphite. In this example, you're looking at graphite packing. I prefer graphite, that's what I uh, was brought up on, but you can most certainly use Teflon. Now, let me bring this ball valve up, and what I did is I took the liberty of breaking down a ball valve for you, but unlike the globe valve and the gate valve, with, uh, with a ball valve, the packing is actually inside. There's no exterior gland, if you will. There is a nut here that actually pushes the, uh, the packing into the valve, which is, which is, the packing sits here. So you have this nut, this little nut that pushes up against the packing, which keeps it from, uh, from dripping when you turn the handle. And I will take this little packing nut out. And if you look inside there, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a nylon washer in there. And generally, I would remove the washer and put the packing first and then put the nylon washer back. But this is so far in that it, what I generally do is I generally just put the packing on top of the nylon washer. And real quick, I'm going to show you here the anatomy of this ball valve. Now, I took it apart. There's two parts to a ball valve. There is the seat, the nylon seat, which you're looking at right there. And here is the ball that actually floats in there. So depending upon which way you turn the handle, the valve is going to be either on. And when you turn the ball, that sits up against the nylon seat, which shuts the water off. And when you want to open it, quarter turn, and now the valve is open. So that's simply, pretty basically, how a ball valve works. And this would simply... Here's the seat, and that's what the ball sits up against, and that's what makes the watertight seal. So we'll turn this to the open position, and we'll put this together, and then I will proceed to, uh, to show you how to pack this baby. I'm going to put it up on a, on a nipple here, standing up vertically, and we will... Uh, I'll show you the process to go through when you have to pack one of these. Because these valves, you know, stand there for years and years, and then somebody comes along, turns the handle, and then they start dripping, and water starts pouring out of here, and everybody gets nervous. So uh, stand by, and I will reset this up, and uh, I'll show you how to pack this puppy. All right, so generally a shutoff valve is basically sitting there. It's sitting there for service, and sometimes it sits there for years and years and years, and the first person who comes along and touches it, whether it be a ball valve, a gate valve, whatever the case may be, you know, you go to put your hands on it and you go to shut it off because you have to service something. And as soon as you start turning the thing, you're going to see water start dripping out, dripping out from the, from the packing gland. And then people start to freak out and they get a little nervous. There's nothing to get nervous about. Now, when I, when I pack a valve, I generally, as a rule, will not shut the water to the house off. I'll just make sure the valve is in the off position as this valve is, 
and then proceed to, to go ahead and pack it. But if you're uncomfortable with that, then I suggest you go and turn the water off to the house, uh, find the main water, shut it off, open up the lowest fixture you can find in the house and then go to the top floor or the highest fixture you can find, open that up, let the air in so the water will drain out of the system. And then you won't have to worry about uh, you know, the water coming out of the packing gland you know, when you start to back off the packing nut because sometimes it'll start to run. But you know, it's not crazy, it's not something I I'm concerned about, but, but if you're a novice doing this, you want to just uh, you just want to keep that in the back of your mind. So we'll take this nut off and we'll back this handle off, take the lock nut off, and we'll take the handle. And as you can see, there's that, that little packing nut that we, that we saw before. And it's simply a matter of coming in here with either an open end wrench or in this case, I got my little mini channel locks, and I'm going to back off this packing gland. Now, bear in mind, this valve is in the off position, and as I loosen this, depending upon the condition of the packing that's in there, it may start to drip or dribble a little bit out of here, and, you know, it's not a big deal. But if you're uncomfortable with that, then I suggest you shut the water down. Uh, then it's just a matter of, in here, there is a nylon washer set all the way in there. That's to keep the packing from actually entering uh, the valve body. So as you pack it, the, the packing will stay within this little uh, packing uh, gland, if you will, rather than push itself into where the ball is. So that nylon washer would stay in there. And then you would simply, either with graphite, which I prefer, this is the material I prefer, and I got this at the uh, local uh, home centers, and I'll leave links to these products in the description below. Or in today's world, everybody likes to use Teflon. Everybody's Teflon crazy. So here's the Teflon. Either or will work. This is like eighth of an inch material. And simply what you would do is you would want to make one round. That's one rotation, if you will, approximately the size of one rotation. And then I simply snap it off with my fingers. Or Teflon's a little tough, so I can, I can get a pair of scissors here and I'll snip off a little piece of Teflon. And it's simply now just a matter of taking the little piece of Teflon and then with a very fine little screwdriver or a preferably like a jeweler screwdriver, you would go around the valve and you would proceed to, to push this in, push this in, and you want to get it down pretty far because when you put the nut back, you want it to, you want it to push that, you want it to push this all the way down to, to the bottom of where the, um, where that nylon washer is. And you would just go around it and continue to push, continue to push it in. You just get that in there. As you can see, it's going in, it goes in. And when you're comfortable enough that it's down far enough to where you can catch the threads, then you take your little packing nut, and we're gonna put that back on here. And in a clockwise fashion, you may have to push on it. You push against it to get it started. And as you get it started, you will start to go, See, you have to get it started. Get it started, baby. Come on, get in there. Get started. And there it goes. Now, as you go in, you don't want to go crazy because these little packing nuts are very, very delicate. As you go in, I generally will, will, will kind of turn the valve and I'll get a, a feel for how how much resistance there is. And I like to have a little resistance, but not a crazy amount of resistance. And by, by rotating the handle, you kind of, you kind of work that packing in there and it's getting tighter as we go. I do the same thing with a globe valve or a, or a gate valve. I tighten, I tighten, I tighten as I turn the handle on those valves. With this one here, I'm gonna do this. And the farther in you go with the nut, 
the tighter it's going to get. And, you know, if you don't feel it's tight enough, once you put one round in there, you can back that nut off again and most certainly put another round in there or another half round, whatever it's going to take to get the water to stop. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's no crazy mystery to how you pack these things. The fact is that they do have packing, just like the other valves. Once you're satisfied that uh, everything's good and you have no more leaks, you'll put your lock nut back. You'll put your uh, nut that actually holds the handle back onto the valve here. And we want to make sure we catch that straight because these, these sometimes get into a position where they're cross-threaded. And if you cross-thread it, you're going to screw it up. So, and, and simply, guys, that's pretty much it. You put this nut back on here. You work that up. And you are in business. And you just pack the ball valve. And there you go. So if you didn't turn the water off, there's no need to turn the water back on again. If you did turn the water off to the house, go down to that lowest fixture, shut it off. Uh, turn the water on. I suggest maybe two people for this. You can have somebody upstairs waiting while you turn the main water on. This way, as the water is rushing into the system, it's pushing the air out at the highest fixture. Once it's coming out five minutes, they can shut the fixture up top. And that's it, guys. You just pack the ball valve, and uh, that's it. It's no mystery. It's a relatively simple task. And again, the first person that comes along to touch this, when they have to service something, in most cases, it starts to leak from the packing nut, and then people freak out and they go crazy. No need to. This is very simple, folks. I hope you got something out of this, and I, I most certainly thank you for coming and checking out this video. So there you go, guys. You can also pack a ball valve. You can use graphite. You can use Teflon packing. Whatever floats your boat, folks. Now, as far as why I haven't posted a video, since 1978, I have renewed my New York City Master Plumbers license every year without fail. Now, originally when I got it, it was a yearly annual renewal. They eventually bumped that up to every three years with a continuing education class, which was no problem. Did that flawlessly. Well, fast forward to 2020, COVID came upon us. We weren't allowed to go down in person and do it anymore. We had to upload all our documentation online. Then the building department would get it, review it. There was like a 15 day turnaround by the time they got back to you. They would look over the paperwork. And in my case, they were knocking it down for stupid reasons. The dates didn't coincide. The wrong person signed it. All sorts of crazy reasons. And this has turned into a six month task. And I had to renew my license. That's why I, I put the videos on a back burner. They were preventing me from pulling permits because technically my license was expired. Not taken away, it was expired. And I was going back and forth for literally almost six months until I finally got a hold of somebody in authority. And I basically threatened them with attorney. I threatened them with going to the, uh, the news media outlets and exposing what they're doing to me because they're playing with my livelihood. And eventually, it all got straightened out, it got ironed out, but the process they put me through was ridiculous. And if you're really interested in the whole process, I can make a video on this whole thing. If I tell you what they put me through, it was absolutely insane. So if you're interested in knowing how that went down, leave comments down below, because I'll do a whole video about it. You will not believe. I mean, the paperwork that they require is crazy. Totally ridiculous. I, I, I'm looking to renew a trade license. Why must I submit uh, my... Um, child support form if I in fact pay child support. What's that got to do with my trade license? Anyway, folks, again, if you're interested in the whole story, leave your comments down below. I want to thank you for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I'm going to start ramping up production again. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. More importantly, hit that like button. Keep an eye out for one of these videos that are going to pop up here to your right. I look forward to seeing you again in my next one. Stay well, and as always, happy plumbing.